It takes everything of who you are to be a decent tattoo artist. The essence of tattooing is always pretty much going to be the same whether people pay attention to it or not. I think the industry has changed a lot. I think that um, a lot of the, uh, the intensity and the, uh, the integrity of what we do has been removed. Uh, with popular culture and popular media and stuff like that, that the image of being, being and having tattoos is like, you dress like the Fonz in the 70s or 80s, and then you're like, you're, you wear the jacket, you flip up your collar, you know, it's those fashion statements that kind of come and go, well, tattooing has always been there throughout that, but it's been less or more accepted. Kind of, yeah, I'm kind of on the new wave, right? Like, I'm, I'm definitely, like, young, young and new. Like, I've only been tattooing for six months. But, um, but I mean, and the history is right there. Like, you can see it for everybody. A tattoo is, you know, like, there's a story for some people, or some people just think they look cool, or whatever it is, but it's self-expression no matter what, right? walking down the street, I saw his tattoo and I wanted to see it because I was excited about what I saw from a distance. And it was the recognition between the two tattooers. For me it was more the interest in the artwork rather than just like, oh, what does this mean to you? I came, I came to Inside Out to support Dave, who I came to the last shop to work with. So really my draw to coming to Nanaimo was to work with Dave because he was the next, um, the next part of the journey in my life as a tattooer. Tattooing, it's the service industry, right? So I met a couple of people who were doing it and, and they seemed to, you know, like you can make a career out of it. So um, I was like, wow, I need to do that. <laughs> the art form it was like doing things that when, you know, I was younger, drawing on notebooks and stuff, drawing dragons and odd things like that, and wizards and, you know, kid stuff, that that's what the things that we could draw on people. It's like, you mean I can make money doing this? Like, are you serious? It, it is a commodity for sure, but I mean, I would do it for free. You have to think with your logical brain as far as like technical application and mechanical apparatus. Um, you have to think with the artistic side of your brain, which for me is, you know, always, you know, it's an ever-growing thing. There's never, you never reach a point where you're like, okay, I understand art. Because <laughs> really it's, it's an infinite spance that you never, you never totally traverse. So you're constantly learning and constantly growing. And then there's the whole emotional side of it, which is like, you're helping people. Yeah, my mom made it, so I was like, talk to her, trying to, that's why it took so long. I was like, it's in the works. I talked to her about it. And oh, it how long did it take your mom to make that, dude? Um, after work and stuff, it was about four months or something. Yeah. It was a hard time even putting it on. It's like special. It's like being a translator. Sometimes people bring you all sorts of shambotic drawings and, and try and piece together some idea of what they want and you just gotta like listen to them. Listen to the descriptive words that they use and then they use those as the way you structure your images. Nine out of ten times you've gone beyond what they originally thought. And how many times have I prayed? So it's you and you and your client. It is a big responsibility, but you're also causing pain, doing sort of a medical procedure. You know what I mean? So, um, so yeah, you definitely have a connection with them. I don't see it as a, like a superficial thing. I think when you see somebody with tattoos, you see somebody that isn't afraid to express themselves. 
and is sound in their own resolve, which is pretty powerful. As when I started getting tattooed, I felt like I was sort of coming into my own skin. It's like I get tattooed because I love tattoos, and I'll, I'll continue getting them because it, it's like um, my it's like customizing my chassis, right? It's like it's like I'm ma making pinstripes to make my car go faster. Uh, for me, it's like the history of my life is on my body. It's right here. You want to know anything about me? It's probably somewhere in this puzzle that I've pieced together on myself. I'm not really sure in what ways yet, but I know that I'm still changing and I'm growing and learning every day. Probably the hardest thing about being a tattoo artist is you're going inside of somebody's personal bubble every time and that means that they have to be comfortable with you to some extent and you have to be comfortable with them even if you're not and it's the same for us as well you know as tattoo artists a lot of people don't get like they're like oh you're a tattooer do me a tattoo do this do that and at the end of the day when you're finished like a 10 or 13 hour day of tattooing you're you're tired you're very tired and it's because most of the time you're giving of yourself to try and make that person more comfortable so that you can perform your job better. You know, and it reminds you every single time about how important it is to be very emotionally gentle when you tattoo people because when you go in there, you're present in their energy and what you leave behind isn't just an imprint on the skin, it's an imprint in their soul.